Hello, my name is Bob. Welcome to a short stop on pool. This week I make it through Iraq while having to revert to plan B quite often. This is something that happens uh, quite regularly playing straight pool. In fact, when you watch a lot of the pros, it might look like they're putting the cue ball exactly where they want every single time. But in fact, they might be going with plan B because the cue ball didn't land where they wanted. So this will be an interesting rack and be sure to stay tuned for next week. Next week is rack of the week number 52. I cannot believe I've been doing this for one year. Be sure to tune in next week when I'm going to feature the best pool player of all time. You know who I'm talking about. And uh, there will be an announcement about how Rack of the Week is going to change and what's in the future for this channel. Let's get into the rack. Parallel angle to start out this rack. The cue ball is pretty much parallel to the rail with the ghost ball position. So this is a center ball. I'm hoping the cue ball does not come up table, but it does. Pretty Had a nice draw, draw stroke on that. Came straight up here and it had reverse English, so it came up, hit the head rail, and then came back down this way. My uh, plan right here, really want to shoot this nine ball because it can't be missed. Probably have a shot on the three, but I think the nine's the right shot. And what I'm trying to do is hit about a third of the ball with right English so that the cue ball goes into these balls and hits them full. So I'm hitting it pretty hard, and I expect it to knock those balls into these balls to open this up and then the cue ball to come up center table is what I'm hoping for. Obviously, there'd be a shot on the two ball or the one. That's what I see happening, and it goes quite differently. I miss those balls completely. <laughs> it came three rails, four rails around the table. So, plan B. I have a shot on the, on the 10, but I don't even have half a pocket. I, have, I can just barely make it past this three ball. My other shot, I do have a shot on the seven in the side, but it's a bit of a cut. And I, I, the reason why I really would prefer to shoot this 10 ball, you see me looking at it, is because if I shoot the 10, my next shot is this nine ball. And I'll be able to go into this cluster and pretty much open up the whole thing. So that's why I, I focus on that. And, and plus there's no position, it's just a stop shot. So now this is a, a medium soft draw shot. I'm, I'm hoping I'll probably hit the four and then carry them this way into these balls, maybe hit the 15. But this is a, a cluster opener. If I hit this right, I shouldn't have any more trouble on the table, I would, I would hope. Yeah, see how that works? Just get the cue ball inside of the cluster. It kind of went around the circle and, and opened them all up. Now, right now, I have uh, two break ball options, and that's the two ball. Now that the rack's solved, the rack's all open. I've got the two, I'll look at break shots. So I've got the two and the 15. The 11 is a uh, possible break ball as well. And I could, I could easily shoot the three and preserve the 11. But I'm not gonna do that. And part of the reason why is shooting the 11 frees up the six immediately. And I know from experience that it may not look like much, but these two balls can turn into trouble later because they don't, go in this pocket you got to clear the three and the 15 or at least the three so that they can go in this pocket and then maneuver the cue ball around there or you got to bump into them somehow so here I have a chance to just pocket the ball I've got uh, insurance balls everywhere real easy shot and it, it just opens everything up uh, take a look at the table once I pocket this 11 There's no longer any balls within three inches of each other. That's what that shot accomplished. So now what I'm seeing is that I've got a break shot. I'm probably committing to the 15. The two could, could, could work as well, but either of those are break shots. So I don't have a traditional key ball here. The one ball could be a key ball for the two, but I think the two is a little bit lower than the 15. I just kind of prefer the 15. Plus I'm right-handed, I'm on that side of the table. So I think that's what's on my mind. So with that decision made i've got three rail balls and i want to get rid of those three balls then everything else is out in the open and so when i shot the 11 i had hoped to get close enough to straight in on the eight to draw off the eight and come up table for the 14 and then i can just bounce out from the 14 and i can either shoot the one or the three after that i didn't get the cue ball that far so plan b which is shoot the three ball 
And I've actually got to put a bit of left English on this to straighten it out. I don't want to hit the 15. So I'm just trying to bring the cue ball straight back up here. And I'd like to shoot the, the uh, 14 ball next so that then I can get uh, shoot the 8 ball and, and go from there. And I'm not shooting the 14 ball from there. And I don't want to shoot the 8. I decide that uh, now's a good time to pick off the 1 since that's, I'm not using that for a insurance ball. So this is plan B. So I've got a very slight angle and I'm just going to follow to this rail. And I've got a lot of left English and I want to bring the cue ball back over here. And again, doesn't get there. Another plan B. So I'm dead straight on this 8 and I want to draw it back to here so that I've got an angle on that 14 ball so I can move the cue ball and do something with the balls on this side of the table. Didn't get there, I'm right on the rail. So another plan B. This is how it goes sometimes in straight pool. Um, I do have a very slight angle. If I wanted to, I could force follow to the rail and spin over. And then I have a shot on the 2 or the 4 and I could go from there. Uh, I'd rather shoot a shot that's more makeable. This, this, if you don't, I mean, if you don't hit it really well, you can rattle that ball. So I decided to just draw straight back. Um, I'm going to bring it straight back to shoot the 15 ball in this corner pocket, knowing that uh, if I don't come far enough or I come too far, I'm going to have a shot on the six this way, and the nine passes the seven in this pocket. Uh, I don't. I, I actually get a good angle on the six, so the 15. I get to keep it as my break ball, and now I can shoot the six and play position for these balls on this side of the table. And it's at this point that I see the end pattern, and I hope you see it as well. This is the type of thing that you should always be looking for. So I, uh, there's, there was a number of ways to go, but once I get here, the seven ball passes the two ball. Now I'm going to use the nine back over here. The only reason I can use that, you look diagonally, well, I don't have a ball there, but this ball's going to function really good because I can shoot the seven and the two in the same pocket, get a real good angle on the four to either follow to the bottom rail to, for the nine or come straight across for the nine. I hope that's not too many lines on the screen and that makes sense. And part of the reason why that's a great end pattern from here is stop shot, almost a stop shot, and I overdo it. That was a little bit careless. Uh, I shot that pretty fast. I should have made sure to have the cue ball land here so I had a little bit more angle, but I do have enough to stun it off the rail. No, I don't. Oh, this is another plan B, I forgot. <laughs> Horrible shot. And actually, uh, I might try and replay that shot. Yeah, I just, I just called uh, the uh, nine ball bank shot cross side. And I'm not straight on it. I've got to cut it a little bit, but I can stun the cue ball forward, I hope, if I make this big shot. But I might replay that this, this ball on the rail that I just shot because I actually shot rail first. I wanted to hit the rail first, then the ball, expecting the cue ball to come over here. That was another plan B shot. And this is a good example of how if you keep shooting plan Bs, they're going to go wrong sooner or later. I needed to take more time on that two ball so that my cue ball stopped here. Then it would have been such a simple matter to cut that ball in and come off the rail for the nine on the side. So instead of that, I've got to pull off a hero shot here. I'm up against the rail, shooting down on the ball. I've got to bank it. I've got to cut it a little bit and hold the cue ball for the break shot. Boy, do, aren't hero shots fun? They just make you look so good. The reality is it was a disaster that I had to shoot that bank shot. Sure looks good on the highlight reels though. So this is a bit of a back, well it's kind of a back cut, but I really like this angle. The cue ball's hitting the corner of the rack. There's no danger of a scratch. This is a high ball and right English on this shot helps too. You see that my cue ball uh, came back and went forward rather quickly, and then another ball hit it and knocked it over here. That's going to happen sometimes, and I still consider this a very good result. Notice that even though I hit the, uh, even though I hit the corner ball, or because I hit the corner ball, the energy travels around the edge of the rack, and it's most always 
leaves a cluster uh, in the rack area. So that's a typical result from this kind of a break shot. In the instances where the cue ball uh, doesn't hit another ball, if you get a lot of right English on it, it's going to go to the rail quickly, and that right English is going to help bring it right back up into that stack and open it up. Uh, but that didn't happen this time. Still a good result, though, and I'm still in business. I hope you found that informative, entertaining, and helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Head over to satoriflatrack.com and check out the promo video for my new and unique pool ball rack. And, of course, shortstoponpool.com for my book, A Shortstop on Straight Pool. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time at Shortstop on Pool.